on a very brief how to play and playthrough of Istanbul. Okay, this is a, a really fun game. There's a it looks like a lot, but it really isn't. It's very simple. Um, it's just um, this is the game board. So each of these tiles are locations, and for each location, you can do a different action. Your main goal of the game is to collect. You have your wheelbarrow here with your goods and a placeholder for your gems. In a three player game, the first player to five gems, well, the first player to five gems, that ends the game, but you continue playing that round until the end of the round so everyone has the same amount of um, turns. At the end of the game, whoever has five gems is the winner. If a couple people have five gems, then you go down the list of um, what to do in tiebreakers. I don't have those memorized, but um, it, it, it was a very close game for us. Like I would have had five gems if I had one more round. Um, Anthony <laughs> ended up winning the game. I wasn't that close. Quentin, I was too stuck on the tea yeah, house part. Quinn got stuck on the gambling part. I <laughs> say you lost. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a very close game. <laughs> um, your wheelbarrow, you keep these yellow, or my, my color's yellow, your color cubes, you start out on the gray areas, and then you move them to the quantity of goods, you could purchase more storage for your wheelbarrow. <laughs> Couldn't do that. That was dumb. For a total of three. Up to three. Well, they don't fit in there totally, so I thought maybe I could lay them on top. So you could actually have up to three more. No, that's not going to work. But you can see they don't fit flush, so I thought it might levitate on top of it for some reason. Um, Why are you <laughs> <laughs> so, what? They love giving me a hard time. So, why would they just levitate? Okay. Shh. <laughs> Each player gets a player A card, which is very helpful. It tells you the turn orders. It also tells you what all the bonus cards do. Um, the book is a very it's a very good rule book. You will need it your first few times playing if you for some of the locations and cards just to be a refresher, but it's very well written on the setup. It's a, it's a great book for that, um, and it has lots of pictures as you can see. And then the rest of the book is basically mostly, there's a few rules on the next page, but most of it is just telling you what the locations and the cards do. And there's vari variants on the back, there's a variant for a two player game, there's tile layout variants to give it more replayability. Um, we really enjoyed this game. So on the beginner phase, the way you set up these tiles, it's as you can see, it's four rows of four, numbered one through 16. You're not going by this number. The bigger number is, that's the location number, the number in the brown. The, number, the tiny number right beside that to the left, that's the placement number of how you place the tiles. And I believe the other one is for a more advanced game of the placement number. And they are more tiles than these. These are the tiles that you use for the beginner game. So right here, you, you put them in order, one through 16, based on that small number in the blue in the middle. Um, this location number is used for when you're rolling the dice for the smuggler, this is the smuggler, and the governor. Um, that determines where they go next once you've used their abilities and um, you use the location number in the, large, the larger number. Um, every person starts out with a little bit of Lyra. First player is Quentin, so he gets the first player token and we will, you, that doesn't pass round and round. It's basically used to determine how much Lyra you get at the beginning of the game and who goes first. And then at the end of the game, it will determine who gets to play after someone reaches their five gems. So if Quinn's the one that reaches his five gems first, both Anthony and I will each get another turn because that would continue, that would complete the round since he's the first player of each round. Um, everyone starts out on the fountain here. As you can see, you've got these stack of, um, they're called assistants. This is your merchant. Um, 
that's always on the top of the stack. You cannot do an action unless you can either leave or pick up an assistant. You're going to be leaving an assistant each time you go tile to tile and do an action. And as you move, you leave another assistant. And if, your final location. If yeah. you happen, yeah, not as you can move one or two locations. You each don't turn. do this. Right, you don't do that. You can move one to two spaces each turn um, and not diagonal. It has to be up and down or left and right. So say I'm coming from here, I already had an assistant there. When I go to this tile, I pick up that assistant so I don't need to leave one and I still do the action. To get to retrieve all of your assistants when you're either low, um, you're down to one assistant, you need to go back to the fountain and you can collect all of your assistants back into your stack. <laughs> Anthony's giving a quick uh, example. These tokens here are your family members. They're in, per they're in the police station. Um, obviously, they're a crooked family member. <laughs> so when you, if you happen to go to the police station, you get to send your family member to any location, and they get to do that action. Um, then say... Say Anthony ends up coming to the black market and he, my assistant is there. He gets to send another player's family member back to the police station and gets to draw a bonus card. He does have to pay two lira or discard another bonus card to keep that. But when you send a family member also to a location, if they have a merchant, you don't have to pay that. Right. I ain't got there yet. Oh. But if you came on, if you come into a space, that has another mer colors merchant stack, you have to pay them two lira or you cannot do the action. Your turn is over. You do not have to pay if you come across another person's assistant. That's different. So say this assistant's here. This is an assistant. The merchant is the one with the picture on it. So if Quentin came here into this tile with that assistant, he does not have to pay anything to Anthony. Um, it's only if another merchant is on that tile. I also thought that you didn't have to pay it, but if you send your family member to right. the merchant area. Right. If you send your family member to a tile and say there is a merchant there of another player, the family member, you don't have to pay the two, two lira for that. Yeah, that's what I was referring um, So that's another workaround to do an action um, on a space without paying that two lira. There are several ways to gain Lyra and the gems and goods. There's lots of different ways by visiting tiles. Um, as I said, each player starts with a different amount of Lyra. Quentin's the first player, so he starts with two Lyra. The next person clockwise gets three Lyra, and then the next person who goes um, in a three-player game going last gets four. But if you had a five-player game, then the next person would get um, five, five Lyra, right? You get four, so yeah, five <laughs> So I had to think for a second. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go over um, the tiles, but not in that much detail. But these are the bonus cards. Each player also starts out with one bonus card. Yeah, it's just a simple game. All you need yeah. to do is refer to and remember what these do. Right. And if you go on them for a while, like, I know what all these mean yeah, and what the tea house means. I yeah, we've, three minutes. You, you could play, I mean, you'll remember them. We have the book. We did have to reference the book at first, but honestly, you can st if you watch it like we watch watched it play watch it played how to play really quick, and we also read the book. But it's good to have a visual and reading. I do better that way. I didn't watch the video or read the book, and I still got it in like five minutes. So, so anyway, <laughs> the um. We watched Watch It Played, and we were basically playing right away. We just read the book as we played. It's after we read the initial rules, which is one page. Like, it's not hard to learn at all. So, um, you start out on the fountain. Again, you can move one to two spaces. So, these um, monster cards are otherwise shaded. Okay, stop interrupting, please. So, there's the Great Mosque. There's Great and Small. So, when you visit those... You pay whatever the good is on top. The goods, actually, they progressively are more expensive. They start out with two, three, four, and in a three-player game, you're going to remove the one with five. So there's two different ones on each mosque. I'm 
I'm not going to go into detail on those. It is in the rule book, and if we play them, we'll definitely tell you what they do. Then there's the post office. Here's the four packages. They start out on the top row. Um, if you visit the post office, if you're the first one, you would move this one down, because that's the one with the one on it. Then you, re you get every good that's not covered by a package. So you would get one of the red goods, two lira, and the fruit. Um, this is the fabric. So say you're the second person, you would move that one down, and then you would get those four. If they all happen to be down here, then I believe you move all of them back up, correct? And you start over mm -hmm. when you if they're all moved. Yeah. And it's always the four that are not covered that, that you collect. The fabric warehouse, it's very simple. You see that has on the bottom picture of the fabric goods and the word max. You get to max out your red fabric uh, goods. If you have the wheelbarrows, the three or three extra storage spaces of your wheelbarrow, I say, um, you would go to the max of whatever you storage you have. So these cost seven lira. Every time you go there, you can get up to three of them. Once you've collected the third one on there, you get the you get to collect the gem. Same with these. Once you collect both of these tiles on either on this one, when you've collected these two, you get to take the gem. Or if you've collected these two, you get to take the gem. But remember, the goal of the game is to get five gems. The fruit warehouse is the same as the fabric. You get to max out your fruit goods. The police station, I've already explained that. Um, the oh. fountain is where you go um, to get back your assistance. You never have to pay two lira to another merchant on the fountain. That's the only exception. The spice warehouse, same thing. You max out your spices. The black market is pretty cool. You automatically get one of each of these three goods, which is the fabric, the, what is that one called? Oh, the green one? The spices, the green is the spices, the red is the fabric, and the yellow is the fruit. But you roll to see how many of the, what are those? Jewel. The jewels. Like so you have to roll seven or higher to get anything. Seven or eight, you get one of the blue, 9 and 10, you get 2 of the blue. 11 and 12, you get 3 of the blue. So the only way to get the blues is basically through that. Or if you have a card like I have that lets you get any good, it's harder to get the blues. So that's why you want to go to that space. You want to get the Requi 7. Yeah. So in the car Caravansary, when you go there, you get to draw two bonus cards. We will be discarding our cards here. So... Say I discarded this one. You have your choice of taking either two from the deck or you could take one, the top discard and one from the deck. And then you have to discard one. You only get to keep one of them. But um, you do get to discard the one you just got if you want. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be from your hand. It could be one that you just received. Um, and so this is where we'll be discarding all those. You can play as many bonus cards as you want during your turn. Um, there's no limit. And those really are really helpful. The small market and the large market work the same. The only difference is you get more money for your goods on the large market. But basically, your whatever the top card is, is the goods that are in demand at that moment. Um, you don't have to have all of them. But basically, the amount of lira you get is based on the amount of goods that you have. So if you have all five of them, you would get 20. If you only have four of those, and, you, and it can't be, like it has to be a max, like on that one, you can't sell more than one blue. You can't sell more than one red or more than one green. You can only sell, that's the max it will buy. But if you have that combination of five, two yellow, one green, one red, one blue, if you have all five in that combination, you get 20. Um, if you have four of them, you get 14, and so on. On the large market, if you have all five of this one, you get 25. So you get five more lira for the five, you get four more lira for four. It's just, um, it's slightly more lira for the same goods um, at the large market. This one's my personal mm -hmm. favorite. Yeah, he loves the tea house. The tea house is the, basically like a gamble. You roll it, you call it what you think you're going to roll before you roll a dice. 
um, any number 3 through 12, you have to roll that number or higher and you get the amount you called. So if you called a 7 and you rolled an 8, you would get 7 lira. If you roll less than what you called, you only get 2 lira. You always get lira, but you only get 2 if you, didn't, if you got less than what you called out. Um, the Sultan's Palace and the Gemstone Dealer work the same. Um, you can buy the gems. You just have to pay every item that's open that's, for, that's open for that gym. So we start, ours goes all the way to the two or three player spaces. Um, if four to five players were playing, you would put more gems on the board. So for the Sultan's Place, the first player has to pay one blue, one red, one green, one yellow, and a random good of their choice, and they would get this gem. The next person would have to pay all that plus one more additional blue. So whatever spaces are open are what you pay to get the next gem. On the gemstone dealer, you're paying lira. So the first person will have to pay 14 lira to get that first gem. The next person 15, and it just progressively becomes more and more lira as, as people take them. Um, the Wainwright, I already kind of briefly discussed it. You land here, you pay 7 lira to get another um, slot in your wheelbarrow. And then once you have all three, you can get the gem as well. So as you can see, it's very simple. Um, it probably took me more time to explain it than... I forgot all that levitate again. No. <laughs> and I did think, I think, oh, I didn't go over the smuggler and the governor. The smuggler, if you land on a space that has a smuggler, you get to take any good of your choice, but you have to pay 2 lira or one good of your, one good in exchange to keep it. Um, once you've, you don't have to do that, but you may. If you do use this ability, you roll the dice, whatever you roll, you use the location number, the larger number, and that's where they go next. The governor, you get to draw a bonus card, and to keep that one, you pay two lira, or you can discard one of your bonus cards you have already. Um, again, if you use his ability, you roll the two dice and send him to the new location. So I believe we've covered everything. So Quentin goes first. He ate a lot of fruit today, so he's kind of hyper. <laughs> we made her, um, I'll, I'll fess up. I thought I was ordering seven oranges. I ordered seven bags of oranges. <laughs> but we did get but we did get the orange juice out of it. So Quinn orange. and I spent a long time. She didn't realize <laughs> she didn't realize how much orange well, juice. Well, I had a head cold all week in my defense, so I was kind of out of it yesterday when we ordered, and I didn't notice the price was forty nine dollars for seven oranges. So that was seven that should have been the first. So we got seven bags of oranges. We gave some to a neighbor, and then Quinn and I peeled three bags of them, and we made orange juice in our blender, but that was a big process. Tom, how much orange juice three bags gave you? Three bags only gave us a three, like, we have a half gallon jug. It filled about three quarters of it. it kind of <laughs> now we know sad. why orange juice is so expensive. Yeah. It took a lot of oranges to make that amount, but it was delicious. It was the best orange juice we've ever drank. So now she put a um, um, one of those orange juice automatic mixers on her wish list. Oh, the juicer? Yeah. Yeah, I put that on my Christmas wish list because if I had a juicer, it would be easier. It was messy because I had to use a strainer. And, and then we had to like peel them for fingernails. Yeah. Well, we would still have to do that, but yeah, but it was... It was really good, so at least we turned orange juice out of oranges. <laughs> Seven bags of oranges. <laughs> so he's kind of hyper. He's had a lot of oranges today. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go for eight. Ooh, we got a nine. So he gets eight lira. He loves that space. <laughs> okay, so now it's my go. Um, I'm going to go here. And max out my fruit. Oh, and the governor's there, so I get to draw one card. Ooh. Oh, I am going to use my card. I'll go ahead and use that. I'm going to get the blue. 
this one, and all these are right here, all the bonus cards. So their player aid's really nice. So I can move one assistant back to my merchant. Nice. So I would use that right now. It did cost me, actually, do I want to keep that? Yeah, it cost me two lira to keep it, but. My turn. So Anthony didn't go diagonal, even though it looked like he did. He went here and here, or here and here. You can move two tiles, just not diagonal. So he went to the post office. So that means this one slides down. He'll get one fabric, one fruit, and two lira. Okay, let's quit and scale. Here you go, Anna. Oh, and you cannot go back to the same space you were on on the previous turn. On the same turn. You, on the, you have to go to a different location. I would just keep on going to a tea house. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go here to the black market. I get one fabric and I'm maxed out on my roll. I rolled a four, so I don't get anything for the blue. Okay, my turn. And think of the great mosque. So he has to pay two. You don't have them. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's not one. The one. No. He doesn't have enough goods to pay for that. I am going to go right here. Here. He's going to the police station. So he is going to send his family member out to do his biddings. Okay. What number? Seven. Oh, oh just enough. He got exactly seven. So he gets seven lira. Go on there, send your family member back oh, to the you police get a bonus station. Card. Do you want this one or do you want that one? What does that one do? That one allows you to bring back one of your assistants. Mm, I want whatever that one is. Okay. You have to pay two lira to keep it. Or get rid of a bonus card. One or the other. Oh, look, this one lets me stay put, so I can go do that same action Oh, actually, again. it's three lira. That one's three lira yeah. to, for each of them, or one bonus card, sorry. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. What? That's wrong. That's wrong. What? That's if you encounter... That's for the governor and smuggler. For the family members, you do not have to pay anything. You take Ooh. one bonus card or you yeah. get okay. three lira. So I was totally wrong on that. Okay, well, can I do my tea house now? Do you want the three lira or do you want the bonus card? Bonus for sure. Okay. So, forgive me for getting that rule wrong. Eight again. Okay. Uh-oh. So he gets eight lira. Oh, my wolf. Okay, remember to leave your assistant there mm -hmm. where you're at. Mm -hmm. I'll do it now so you won't forget. Oh yeah. Okay, so. No, I moved, I went there. Oh, I you picked, picked him up. up? Okay. Yeah, you don't have to leave one if you're picking one up. Okay, so. I'm gonna go to the large market. Not gonna give much money though. First, I'm gonna do the smugglers so I get any good of my choice, but I have to pay either a good or pay two lira. I don't have that, so I'm not gonna use this ability because I'm selling my goods. So I have the one fabric, I have one of the jewels, I do have the one green, and I have the one um, fruit, so I have four out of the five, so I get 18 lira. Ow, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, okay. that helps tremendously at this point in the game. Okay, my turn. Let's see, I am going to... Did you change that? You put the... Oh, and I am once, you use, once you fail, you need to put him down to the bottom. The next card down at the bottom. 
And I didn't use his ability, so we don't send him somewhere until someone uses his ability. Anyone? Okay, figure out what I'm going to do. Dice. Okay. Come on, on your shadow. Ten. So you rolled a ten, and then gets two blue and one each of the others. Ooh, wow. Okay. I'm going to do this. Stay put, and I get to do it. And should I move in? Should oh, I just nice. do that one again? So he gets to... Do I still leave mine? Pretty sure I do. Yeah, Stay do. put instead of moving. So he gets to re... Nine. In his favorite space. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, Seven. Ooh. So he gets two Lyra. Okay. I'm going to the Wainwright, and I'm going to purchase my additional storage on my wheelbarrow for seven Lyra. We're gonna need some one soon. My turn. Mm -hmm. So right here, and I have two red, two blue, and one green. Wow. So I get twenty-five. See, so it's twenty-five lyrics. He had all. And he had all five, and he can do the smuggler. Thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do the smuggler and get one blue. Okay. Cost you two lira. Okay, and on uh, move him. Yeah. Okay. So he four. goes to number four location. Right here. Oh, he's there with, ooh, you get double whammy. Okay, okay so I'll move four spaces space. instead. Yeah, I'm seeing. This one lets you move four spaces instead. instead oh, yeah, of two. you roll separately if you use them both. I'm doing a card out to move four spaces. Okay, before. Oh, it goes right here. Oh, yeah. Come on. So Quinn had some good bonus Nine cards. or ten. Actually, no, I want to let him do 12. Ooh! You got 10, you got two blue. So two blue and one inch of the rest. I'm wow. Gonna move. I took your assistant out from under your stack. That's really good. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the fountain, so I'm just going to go ahead and collect all my assistants. How are you going to the fountain? That's right here. One, two. Hi. Oh, yeah, you did. You went to the fountain to collect. Yes. Yeah, what? So I gotta go back to the fountain to do anything. You can't get there this turn. You could go to where you're at though and do an action if you already have a person assistant oh, yeah. there. So I'm going to That's the trick if you don't have any assistance under your stack, you just go to a location that already has your assistant, pick that one up and you can do the action. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go to where am I? I'm going to sell yeah. two blue, one red, and a pineapple. So it's four. Okay, so you get 18 lira. We're all rich in lira right now. Mm -hmm. What happens if you can't move back? You go in a space that has your. Or if you assistant. can't go there. Why couldn't you go there? You could go. No, right I'm here. saying, what if you can't go to one of those? Why couldn't you? If none of them were near you? Well, you would just have to move and get closer to where you want to be. Oh, um, yeah. You don't get to do an action. Um, I'm going to go max it out my. And you don't leave an assistant in the fountain. So I'm going to max out my fabric, which is now a three because I bought that. And I'm getting all my assistants back. Okay. Now I'm going to go here. Roll the dice. Okay. So again. Seven. So you get one. You get one of each. Wow. Okay, I'm going to leave his assistant. No, you picked it up. Yeah. So well, I'm going to go here and purchase 
this tile which now allows me to change when I am in these where you roll I can change one of my dice to a four or I can re-roll completely my turn. from now on mm -hmm. if you come on your own family member I think you can send them back to the police station can you am I right on that no it's only another I'm thinking of here you send them out so nothing happens because he's in the same space with his family member Sean, one of each, so that would be 14. Are you picking him up, or do you leave him there? Leave him there. Yeah, okay. Left him there. There, he made one. I'm wet. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Your turn, Miranda. I'm going to go here and max out my green. Yeah. Here, and buy one. So, what was that, 15? Mm hmm. So, Anthony bought All the first yours. gem on. Uh, he's the first person with a gem so far. I'm going to go to Tea House and do eight. You get two Lyra. Still some Lyra, though. Okay, I'm going here, picking up my guy, and I'm going to pay for that second tile with my two green. Goods and I get a gem for having both of those tiles. And this one I can pay two lira. Um, let's see, which one is that one? Oh, this one's in the book. When using one of the three warehouses on locations two, three, or four, you may pay two lira to gain one additional good of any type. My turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to here and picking up my assistant, grabbing the last one I need. That's seven. So I'm going to the gemstone dealer and I'm going to buy as many as I can. You can only buy one. Buy, I didn't see you buy all this. You can only buy one at a time. Okay, buy one. I'm going to pay 15. 16. That's what it is. All right. It's 15. Oh. Really? You were only supposed to pay 14. There. Okay, so he bought that gem. Okay. Where am I? Are you lost? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go here to the post office and collect one fabric, one pineapple, and three lira, but I can get an additional good, so I'm going to get the additional pineapple and only collect one of those lira. That's right. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to do the additional red, not the pineapple. All right. Can you see lira? Okay. Three? Mm -hmm. Give me a two. One that at once. Thank you. Sell your resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Actually, no, I picked them up. He picked them up. Yeah, but you need to flip the tile. Oh, I always forget to do that. Okay, so I'm going here to the Great Mosque, and I'm gonna purchase this tile for my two fruit that I have, and basically that one means I can. Once on my turn, pay two lira to return an assistant to your merchant stack. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. My turn? Yep. All right here. And so I max out my... Your turn, click. So it costs 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go here, pick up my guy, and I get yeah. 
Can I see the real close? Mm -hmm. Get three Lyra. Blue. And I don't have capacity for the. Let's see. And I believe it's. Is it the post office? No, it's the warehouse. My turn. Yep. I think I've been right here and buying this. So it's three. Your turn, Queen. Nine on the tea house. <laughs> you get two lira. What was that? Two ones. <laughs> Well, that was pointless. Okay, I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to the fruit warehouse and use these two abilities. I get one good, which I'm gonna do that. Pay two lira for that. I get a bonus card. I'm going to take this bonus card that Quentin just played. That's a good one. Pay my two lira. I need to roll the dice separately for these two. So this one goes to location eight. And this one, oh, wow. Same <laughs> location again. Okay. And I go to max pineapple. out my pineapple. Let me try. Mm -hmm. One, two. I'm using my card. So I get two of one, I think, uh, carry out, the, oh no, I get carry out the post office action twice. Okay, wow, so you push this down so you get all of those first. So I get, I uh, switch this for five. I get two blue. No, it's one blue. And my card. That's just get to carry it out twice. You don't get times two goods. Yeah. Carry out the post office action twice. You get to do it twice, the post office. But you have to do it again where you move the things. You see what I'm saying? The post office action is when you're moving the crates or the packages. Yeah, you just do the post. So you get, you do this, you get your one and one, and then you move them and you get the others. Yep. Okay, so. So you do your one and one? Well, not yet. And. I think you move them all up and then move the one down, right? I'm gonna make sure I'm right on that. Okay. Yeah. We didn't do that. Yeah, we didn't really go to there. If all indicators are already in the bottom row, move them all back to the top row. Oh, so you don't move one back down. You would just get all these now. Yeah, so green. Yellow and two lira. Two more liras. Okay, so that goes here. It's Quentin's turn. Where are you going? Swoots McDuck here is buying out his fur gemstone. Wow. <laughs> okay. As you can see, Quentin's strategy is tea house and then gemstone dealer. <laughs> that didn't work for him last game. Okay, so I am now going to the Great Mosque and I'm purchasing this one. I get the gem and I can immediately take the fifth assistant. Nice. So I now have five assistants. Wow, that's awesome. My turn. One, two, so I'm grabbing all my assistants. Okay. Cool. And you pick them up and I'm going to do seven? Nope, you get two. <sighs> One off. How many do I have? Let me count. Okay, I'm going to use this card where I can go up to four spaces. I'm going to go to Sultan's place, pay a palace, a, palace, a blue, a red, a green, and then I'm going to pay my two fruit and I get that gem. Wow, that's really good. My turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, 
I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna say eight. Mom. Yes! So he gets two. Uh, I get to roll again. Oh yeah. Oh no! I keep I haven't done it yet. One one! Uh, <laughs> two <Sarah>. Lyra. <laughs> Quentin's turn. You go in. Okay. So I am, I'm going to have to go to a location I'm already on because I don't have any more assistance. I'm going to this one and max out my fruit. Okay. Come here. You have to pay. Pay me too. Yep. You have to pay me too, Lyra. Thank you. I like your business with me. So Anthony went on the same space as Quentin's merchant. Tea house, I'm just going to say six. Nope. Two lira. Give me three, please. You've got all the ones. You're hoarding the ones. <laughs> Why don't all my lira? Okay. So it needs three to that. Yeah, I'm gonna switch some to. Five? Yeah. Another five? Yeah. Yeah, come on, come on. Money too. bags there. Okay, Ooh. so Michael, I'm gonna no. collect all my assistants. No. And go back to the fountain. Make sure I have all five. Yep. So I have one more assistant than they have right now. Okay, I'm going to go right here. Click this one. That means I get to grab this. Okay. And now so I'm going all to go here. I show that. For three crystals. I mean, so one of those, so I get... Or gems. Two. That's mine. Yeah, right? you need Take to. It. That's my money. You need to put your resource down. He Bye. did. No, I put it there. No, I put it down. No, your resource. Oh, uh, no, I only put well, it I've only got one. He already oh, put okay. it down. It was only one of them. Okay, so my turn. Don't be stealing my, my spices. I'm going to have two on here. What does this one do again? You pay two to get an extra and in the warehouses, right? On your turn, you may pay two Liras to return an assistant to your merchant oh, stack. that's what it is. Okay. Okay, so... What to do? I'm going to go to the... Tea house. How much? Seven. Fail. Oh, oh. I should have did ten. So, put three back, take that ten. Okay. My turn. Mm hmm. I'm going to move right here. Down? Okay. I'm going to move here. It looks like I'm going to die and I'm going to move there. And Scrooge McDuck is buying out with Jim for okay, so 18. Has four gems. 18. So 15, 16, 17, 18. Here mm -hmm. we go. I just need one more oh, gem. I my guy there. And I have one. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hmm. I'm doing pretty good. Tea house and gemstone, it seems to be the strategy. If you're lucky. Okay, I'm going here. I'm selling one blue, two yellow, so it would be three for nine lira. Okay, I'm going here, collect the two, one red, and one yellow. Okay. I'm going to do nine right here. No. Two That's lira. Two. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to the gemstone dealer and I'm buying this oh, no. for 19. So Quinn and I are tied at four. Wait, you have four already? Right? Yep. Go here. Yeah, I'm buying this one. So that's actually not can't. Actually, I'm not doing that. Where was I? Right here, right. I am going to move to 
So I could go here and pick that up, right? Yeah, you get two cards. You can choose from this and the, and the draw pile, or you can Don't you take four, two from the top four. of the deck. Thanks, sure. And you have to discard one of them back. Oh, how many cards? Well, you have to. You can choose, and then you discard one of them. Okay, so I move here. I saw a you two. This is scary. I might lose here. I need to get lucky on that tea house. Yeah, I'm going to go to the tea house. Seven. No! Eight. So I get seven. I got one soon. Oh. I hope we get lucky on that tea house soon. I'm going to go here and sell all of it. Woo! So Two, two, one. So twenty-five. You have to pay me two lira. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Nine. Nine. To the cost. Nine. Nope. He gets two. Here, I'm taking. I'm exchanging for five. So you gain nothing. <laughs> and I gave you money. Okay, so hmm, this game's not being nice to me. Oh no, I lose here. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm selling the one rand and one fruit for five lira. How much lira you have? I'm not saying. Then yeah. Okay, so you're at here. Sixteen. I'm buying that for twenty-one. Or is it 20? Just 20. It's 20. Ooh, yes, and weighs the price. Weighs it. So the next one costs 21. Max out. Okay, I'm going here. Buying that one for, I have exactly 21. No! So I'm buying that, la my last gem I need, and Anthony gets to go. He has one chance to get that fifth gem. I can't get it. Okay. Let's see what I'm gonna got. If I were. Right. I'm just gonna here. Let's see if I got an extra turn and I got a 12. Let's see. How could you go there? Where were you? Here? Oh, oh yeah, I was just. Oh, okay. So I would have gone there and I'm gonna go for a 12. Let's see if I would have got it in 12. Nope. Nope. You still would have lost. So, that, the game is over. I won with five gems, but as you can see, it was neck and neck, and that's I how got unlucky on the tea house. If I got more lucky, <laughs> that's because you do all one strategy. That is not you put all your eggs in one basket. And you lost twice. See, we were doing multiple things. We got crystals through these. I go I that you can't put it all in one basket. You gotta have you have to diversify. But he is stuck on the tea house. <laughs> we need to keep him away from Vegas when he's older. Yeah, but um. This is a fun game. As you can see, it's very simple, but there's a lot to it. There's a lot of different strategies. And once you've learned the basics, there's more tiles. There's different variations of how you can place the tiles. And didn't you say there's like three expansions? Yeah, I think there's like three. Sweet. There's several wow. expansions, which give you more tiles. So this is a, this will definitely make it to our table again. Cause it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's not fast to play, but it's fast to, Pretty fast to set up. It doesn't take that long to set up. One, if you, I mean, the book makes it really easy. Definitely a game I'm going to be keeping for yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a oh, yeah. this is a good game. So we will put the link in the description if you want to check this game out for yourself. Um, great family game. Yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. it's got to push your luck. It's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, it does. These two are my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We know. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like. Feel free to leave a comment. We hope everyone's enjoying our new intro that Anthony created. It's um, he had he had a lot of fun creating that, and it was I love it. I think it's so cool. Um, if, so feel free to leave a comment if you like. We hope you're already subscribed, but if not, please subscribe to our channel. We put out a lot of great content, and if you want to um, get a notification. When we do put the content out, all you do is you click that little bell and it'll um, 
just let you know when we've uploaded a new video. Thank you again, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!